Greetings from the year 2024. In this joyful adventure audit, we are on Wesley Road in Acox Green exploring the site of the historic Warwick Cinema. Though no longer operating as a cinema, the original structure still stands today as a reminder of the vibrant entertainment history of this area. Background the Warwick Super Cinema first opened its doors in September 1929 as one of the grandest picture houses in Birmingham. Designed in an immersive atmospheric style, the 1,500-seat auditorium transported audiences into the lush grounds of Warwick Castle complete with a starry night sky projected across the vaulted ceiling. It quickly added sound and delighted moviegoers for over 30 years before falling revenues led to its 1962 closure. But the magic of entertainment continued on this spot. The stalls were converted into the 20-lane Warwick Bowl Tenpin Bowling Alley, which opened in 1963, alongside a smaller 462-seat theater space upstairs. Though the last cinema show aired three decades ago, bowling and laser tag still draw crowds today to this nearly century-old venue. The Acox Green Bowl continues the building's legacy of bringing joy to generations. Let us know in the comments if you ever caught a film here or knocked down pins inside this vanished cinema turned recreation hotspot. That caps off our look at the Warwick Cinema, which has seen numerous entertainment incarnations over its 90-plus years of operation here along Wesley Road. Though films have long stopped screening, bowling, and laser tag carry on the fun. If you enjoyed this glimpse into Birmingham's recreation history, make sure to subscribe to Joyful Adventure Audits. We are constantly delving through archives and exploring vanished venues around the city to keep their legacy alive before memories fade completely. Our YouTube channel features series on long-lost Birmingham treasures like cinemas, pubs, shops, and more, documenting the tales beyond the buildings still standing today. We visually map out how entertainment hotspots and communities evolved over the decades in certain areas. Each new subscription allows us to keep recording this local history and heritage for future generations. So if you want to see more surprising spaces like the Warwick Cinema reimagined over nearly a century, smash that subscribe button. And let us know in the comments which bygone Birmingham spot we should cover next in our Lost Cinema, Lost Pub, or other series. Thanks for watching. Now let's venture onto the next site waiting to be unearthed.